As a result of the elections of July 1932, the Nazis became the biggest party in Germany, with 37% of the vote. Now only one man stood between Hitler and the chancellorship, President Hindenburg, the man Hitler had challenged for the presidency and lost. Hindenburg met Hitler on August the 13th, 1932. Hitler demanded to be chancellor. Hindenburg refused, and his state secretary recorded the reasons why. He could not bring himself to give government power to a single party which did not represent the majority of the electorate and which furthermore was intolerant, lacking in discipline, and frequently even appeared violent. But then different pressure groups began to lobby President Hindenburg. A group of businessmen, including the former president of the Reichsbank, Jalmar Schacht, wrote to Hindenburg, arguing that Hitler must get the chancellorship for the good of Germany. We must mal Deutsch. The party was going bankrupt because of the cost of having to fight so many different elections. One of the key figures in the party, Gregor Strasser, had just resigned, and the Nazi vote had dropped to 33% in the November 1932 election. It looked like their support had peaked. But powerful figures on the traditional right still felt they had to negotiate with Hitler. They too wanted to eliminate democracy and destroy the communists. And without Hitler and the Nazis, they had no access to mass support. A former chancellor, the aristocratic von Papen, came up with a deal. Hitler could be chancellor if he, von Papen, was vice-chancellor and there were only two other Nazis in the cabinet, surrounded by more traditional conservatives. The theory was Hitler would be tamed. As a result, Hindenburg offered Adolf Hitler the chancellorship on January the 30th, 1933. Von Papen crowed, we've hired him, and the new cabinet posed for the cameras. The Nazis would later try and rewrite history to say that Hitler became chancellor simply because it was his destiny. But in reality, Hitler had been helped into power by economic circumstance and the support and miscalculation of others. Entscheidet euch schnell! Es ist keine Minute Zeit mehr zu verlieren! Nur einen Gedanken, ein Ziel kann es noch geben. Der Faschismus muss geschlagen werden bis zur Vernichtung. Alles und durch für die Freiheit der Republik und die deutsche Schaffen Arbeit.
Preußischen Fahnen. Herr Berlin und Friedberg, Leuten und nun auch die Fahnen von Torgau. Sie, Majestät, Majestät, das Regiment Bernburg wartet. Bernburg. Brave Burschen, alles ist vergeben und vergessen. Aber den heutigen Tag vergesse ich euch nie. Es lebe unser Fritze! Ein, zwei, drei! Es lebe unser Fritze! Gegeneinander das Schwert ziehen. Und es wird der Tag kommen, an dem sich unsere Stämme gemeinsam erheben, das Deutsche Reich gegen seine Feinde zu verteidigen. Klassen hinweg unser Volk wieder zum Bewusstsein seiner volklichen und politischen Einheit und der daraus entspringenden Pflichten bringen. Sie will die Ehrfurcht vor unserer großen Vergangenheit, den Stolz auf unsere alten Traditionen zur Grundlage machen für die Erziehung der deutschen Jugend. Sie wird damit der geistigen, politischen und kulturellen Nihilisierung einen unbarmherzigen Krieg ersagen. Deutschland darf und wird Drei Gesichtspunkte, die unsere Revolution beherrschen, widersprechen keiner Weise den Interessen der übrigen Welt. Erstens, Verhinderung des drohenden kommunistischen Umsturzes und Aufbau eines die verschiedenen Interessen der Klassen und Stände einigen Volksstaates und wir auf dem Begriff des Eigentums als der Grundlage unserer Kultur. German post-war recovery was slow, partly because its leading industrialists were on trial for war crimes. Among the German manufacturers accused of using slave labor for arms production was industrial giant Krupp. Gustav Krupp had been a loyal Nazi. He helped fund Hitler's rise to power. 
he gave signed copies of Hitler's book Mein Kampf to his German workers. And Hitler reserved a special place for Krupp and his employees at the Nuremberg rallies. Alfred Krupp and ten of his fellow directors were convicted at Nuremberg. The company's assets were seized. <laughs> 